Hello everybody, welcome to today's tutorial. A while back, I made a video about how to remove vocals from music utilizing vocalremover.org. And the tool works great, but you have to rely on a website and also have limited amount of uses before you then have to pay a subscription. Well, today I'm excited to introduce to you an incredible tool that isolates vocals from any song even better than vocalremover.org. And it's also 100% free and runs on your machine, giving you the freedom to remix, create karaoke tracks, all locally on your machine. Let's get started. And this tool is called Ultimate Vocal Remover. And to download, first head over to the Ultimate Vocal Remover website. The URL is ultimatevocalremover.com. I don't have this software on this computer, so we'll be walking through together. Uh, down here, you'll hit download UVR. This will bring you to a GitHub link. If you scroll down a little bit, there is a main download link and a main download link mirror. You should just be able to hit main download link. Put this guy in your downloads folder. Now, if you are using a Windows computer, this is what you'll be downloading from. If you are using a Mac computer, this is what you'll be downloading from. If you have Apple Silicon, you'll download from this link. And if you have Mac Intel, you'll download from this link. Once the download is complete, go up to the downloads icon here and then click on UVR setup. A setup window will pop up. We're just going to go through and click next, 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 install. For Mac users, it is a little different. You may have to go through this setup window, but you'll then have to drag on a little pop-up window. You'll have to drag the UVR icon into the applications folder. Once the setup is finished, we're going to launch Ultimate Vocal Remover, hit finished. Now, the GUI for Ultimate Vocal Remover 5 is very simple. You essentially just select an input file, select an output folder, and then you would decide what you want down here. Now, the first thing we're going to do is download a model that I know works really well for removing vocals from music. So you're going to hit choose model. There is a model that comes with it, but we are going to download more models. It has three different categories here. We're going to check this middle one, go to no model selected, hit the drop down, and we're going to scroll down until you see net voc FT. Then we're going to hit this download icon and it will download the item. All those different models were just trained a different amount on different things. This one specifically, I believe is really, really good at soloing out music and soloing out vocals. Once it says download complete 100%, we can hit the X on this guy. And then when you hit the drop down, now you have both of these guys. So let's select the model that we just downloaded. As you can see here, now it says vocals only or instrumental only. And then second, we are going to select our input file that we are wanting to pull the audio from. I have a song here just to test really quick. This is what the original file sounds like. So I selected the song for the input, for the output. I'm just going to throw it back into the downloads folder. For these middle options here, you don't have to change anything. The only thing that we need to decide is if we want vocals only or if we want instrumental only. I'm going to say vocals only and then hit start processing. Once the process is complete, it'll say down here at the bottom process complete time elapsed. This took three minutes and 29 seconds to check it. I'm going to go back into the folder. And then as you can see, it says Vanzi survive vocals. Let's listen to it. Told you to walk away. That was my first and last mistake. I'm blue without your face. But what can I do? Cause I'm just a sinking ship. As you can see, it did a great job. And we can also click on instrumental only and hit start processing. All right, let's take a listen to this one too. That is how you use Ultimate Vocal Remover 5. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.